it is obvious that Disney tries to push their, their live action movies this year and years before that well at least a year before that and not all of them are successful if anything i think they're pushing it a little bit but is dumbo one of those disney live action movie that will flop to be honest i'm a bit 50 50 about it and hopefully with this movie review you would be able to have more insights before you decide to spend money on this particular film i really do hope that i do this little cute elephant some justice because he's just he's so adorable you know full disclosure i have never seen the animation before and after watching this live action i do not want to see the animation yet until i release the movie review because honestly i do not want to be disappointed <laughs> like i said disney has been pushing a lot of live action movies based on their animations and even based on their trailers not all of them are great you know which one i'm talking about that one trailer that hurts me the most oh, who i am genie Wishes, land, none of that ringing a bell. Oh no. Oh good lord. Oh that's bad. Oh. But anyway, I decided to give it a shot when I learned that Dumbo is playing in the theaters. I actually watched it at 40x, which was unexpected because I wasn't planning on doing that. I think I misread the schedule. <laughs> but I haven't watched anything in 4DX in a while. So the experience was interesting. I might do some rant on Instagram the next time I pay a visit. Anyway, the story itself is quite simple from Dumbo's point of view. His mother is purchased by Max Medici. Medici, I think. That's how I suppose to say his last name. The owner of Medici's brother's circus. And she gave birth to Dumbo shortly after she arrived. At first, Dumbo was ridiculed for his large ears and it caused Dumbo to be separated from his mother. But after the children from the circus figure out that Dumbo can fly with them if he was offered a feather, he soon became the main attraction of the show. Which gave the children hope to bring Dumbo's mother back with all of the money that Dumbo has uh, earned from the circus. Unfortunately, Dumbo's amazing talent caught the attention of an entertainment mastermind called V.A. Van Der Veer, who wants Dumbo on his show. Will this turn out to be a happily ever after for Dumbo, or will it be the opposite? Do watch the movie to find out, and if you haven't watched the movie, please stop here to avoid spoilers. This movie is about Dumbo. It literally states that clearly in the title. So the storyline of Dumbo is very clear to me as I assume it is clear to everyone else. But there are a lot of untold stories from the supporting characters. The biggest one that I think Disney wanted to highlight but sort of failed since there's a bit of gap is when it comes to the Farrier family. Their story is very much in line with Dumbo's character growth, but I feel like they want to tell so much in short amount of time. I definitely do not have enough time to enjoy their change process. And by the end of the movie, the dad and the children has evolved by a lot. There's the death of their mother, their father, and him struggling with the loss of his arm, and with it, his circus career. Then there's the children that struggles with their father. So many important issues cram into one spot. Even though the results of their character growth are actually amazing, I do not get to enjoy the process at all. Same goes with another important character that was introduced later in the film, which is Colette Marchand. If you don't know who she is, she is the trapeze artist, I think, that was close to uh, V.A. Van Der Veer. Her growth is so fast, I think my head actually spins when that happened. However, I have to say that the ambience Tim Burton has in his movies still appears here. He has a knack for making a movie with a dark shade, and this one is no exception despite it being an all-age movie. The most jarring scene for me is one when they're about to bail Dumbo's mother from Dreamland and everything, basically everything went to ashes. That was insanely terrifying for me, but I cannot 
take my eyes off the screen. I am scared and in awe at the same time. <laughs> Tim Burton is one of my favorite directors and I really hope that I can see more of his work in the near future. If anyone knows his future endeavors that I should watch out for, <laughs> please let me know in the comments down below, okay? Thanks. As for characters, there are a lot of A-list actors and actresses in this movie but all of them are just dim. They don't shine as much. Probably, and this is just my opinion, probably because how the storyline is told. How basically all of them just became a sideshow because this movie is about Dumbo. The people responsible for this movie kind of like trying to make them important by giving them their own storyline. But it doesn't really resonate with me because the sole focus of this movie is still Dumbo. And as I said before, the storyline of the other characters move so quickly that I can't really see the awesomeness of their character. I hope I make sense. <laughs> and this goes to both sides, protagonist and antagonist. The most notable character for me is Max Medici because his character is actually very quirky and very loud. And of course Vanderveer because he behaves like an ass to put it lightly. But I say they are notable because of their character quirks, not because of how their story was told, or really how the actors actually brought the character to life. Should you watch this movie? If you're looking for a flying elephant, then sure, despite their many flaws, Dumbo himself is still a show stealer and every time he appears on screen, my heart flutters. He is so cute, beautiful, and majestic at the same time. But the rest of the cast and the storyline? No, not so much. It is not horrible, it's just filled with fast and boring. Sorry. <laughs> and that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this movie review and if you do, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They are in my description below. If you have any other opinions about Dumbo, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below and I guess that's it. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!